traveling barefoot on a dark road covered in delicate rose petals which conceal thorns that pierce the flesh is the only way I can describe the grief and hell I have been put through. But there was a glimmer of light in this total darkness. This warm glow drove my curiosity and I started to walk towards it in a dark, endless, and painful road. There was a glimmer of light that drove me to walk, walk, and walk. to me. Let's go in. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, Chris. I, it's okay. I like it, but I don't really want it. It's okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay.
I don't know if I'd still be standing here today if it weren't for you, Tommy. This is the last time. The last time I'm gonna lie to you, my blood. One more time, and I can put an end to all this misery. Okay, Chris. I'll be back. trying to get there right now, but the traffic is... Oh, Tommy, come on. You can't be late today. It's my wedding. I'm really sorry, man. It's been ridiculously busy lately, but I will be there. I, I will be there. All right. I promise. I'll be there in half an hour. You better. Or else you know what I'm going to do. All right. Take it easy. Just go to Rachel. She's waiting for you. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the church. Got it? Okay. I'll see you soon.
You and I are going to get married tonight. What? Rachel, will you marry me? Yes, of course. But only if I can wear that dress we saw yesterday. Answers I yearned for, with never-ending lights behind all the smoke and mirrors, were just a facade within my own dark chasm. Now I know that at the end of this long and thorny road, beyond all the glimmer of lights, is a paradise, and as a gift, the only fairness that life brings us is the recollection of happy and joyful memories, and I call this the sweetest dream.